Hello everyone, today we'll be continuing WWE My GM mode. Uh, in the last episode, we were horribly betrayed by one of our own, one of our original superstars, that being Tyler the Traitor Bait. Things aren't working on SmackDown, I'm ready to read that. My only way you can convince me to stay with a 100k bonus. Dude, you were injured for like 5 weeks, how is it my fault? You stupid. That's what you are. No, I don't care. I'm not giving you a hundred K. Fine. Who apparently thought that his time on SmackDown was a joke. Because apparently, uh, while he was injured, I should have booked him in matches. I should have booked him in uh, pay-per-views. And I didn't do that. Because he was injured? How can I book him while you're injured, Tyler? How can I book you? Like, that made no sense. Tyler left because he's an idiot. And uh, now we're stuck. We lost our tag team title feud because Tyler is an idiot. Now we have to work on uh, a new feud for the tag team titles. Grayson and uh, Damian await their rivals. Robert Root also got injured in the last episode, which is unfortunate. But we will manage with that. Dakota Kai is returning next week, so is Shayna Baszler. She's not injured, she's just away for a week. We, for the first time in forever, actually have some money, so that's actually great. We can buy um, power cards, or we can sign new roster members, we can even upgrade stuff that's actually amazing however for the time being i will not do that because i'm pretty sure that for the next show i'll have to resign like four contracts that being la knight cora jade captain grog and adrian buck i think i have to resign all of them right before summer slime so we do not get the money from summer slime before having to resign them which is unfortunate but it is what it is um now let's start with our uh, go home show for SummerSlam. Rest Shayna Baszler and uh, Alba Fire completely because Shayna is away anyway, so we can just rest Alba today. We can have her do a call out, but it's no use, like the rivalry is level 4 anyway. Uh, so, what we'll do is an advertisement promo by LA Knight. Yeah! Actually, let's do a charity promo by LA Knight. He's, he has f level 5 on promoting, so he should do a great promo. Let's make a call out promo with Ivy now calling out the Kota Kai, who will be back next week. And uh, let's have Logan Paul call out. Uh, if he calls out Seamus, the rivalry is on Kuran, so that's not gonna work. So he can call out Rich. Rich is also very hurt though. Oh no, we need some more stamina, guys. We need some stamina. So he's gonna call out Rich Holland. Class Fighter vs. Bruiser. Heel vs. Face. This is gonna be an alright match. Hopefully starts up a rivalry. But we're not gonna really be able to complete at SummerSlam. But it's still gonna be a good rivalry. I know that we wanted Mr. Higgelsby to be the World Championship field for Logan, but that kind of didn't work out. So we are pivoting from that and we're gonna do something else. So what I know for a certain, it will be that Mr. Higgelsby will be in a match and he will face off against Damien Priest. What is my commissioner's goal? Have your most popular face in heel females fight this week. Who are they? Alba Fire and Fallon Hill. Yeah, thing is, I'm not gonna have Alba Fire wrestle today. Thing is, we're not gonna, we're gonna do an awful show today, so that's why I need the fans from LA Knight. Hopefully, he does well. Mm, let's have some random matches: Cora Jade versus Fallon Henley. They're all bruisers. Okay, uh, Grayson Waller versus uh, Carl Anderson. We have so many people that are off the show for one reason or another. 
And let's have this as our main event. I know that uh, Captain Grog will be hurt maybe, but uh, we have to have a good match at least for the main event. Actually, let's... Uh, we have plenty of people, so let's do a more interesting match. Let's add Seamus and Rich. Oh no, not Rich, no, no. Okay, let's keep it a triple threat only. Uh, because Ridge is quite hurt, so he cannot really compete. We'll have it as the main event in a title match. So what we'll do is these two will be in the opening and these guys will be in the main event. We'll have these random matches as the mid card and uh, this is our show. Honestly, with the main event that good, I think this match will be great. So I think we're gonna have a good show which actually is a surprise to me but anyways this will be our show we will not spend that much money on it mate okay let's make the tables match actually so that we are sure that we're gonna get some something worth our money okay i'll buy the stamina card the health spa card because it's quite a good card and it will recover 12 stamina and we really need that because honestly look at this yeah Shayna has a good stamina the women have good stamina, aside from Alba Fire, and you know what I'll do, I'll use it instantly on Alba Fire, so that she has quite a lot of stamina, so that we know she's all, she'll be alright, because she's our women's champion. Oh, I need to interfere for Grayson Waller. I almost forgot. Interference. GM interference for Grayson Waller. Hopefully Grayson doesn't win the title now because this is gonna be a bit bad, but we'll see what it is. I almost forgot I had to assist Grayson, but uh, we managed to do it in the end, so he'll be happy. And okay, with the final touches, our show is done. This time we start with Monday Night Raw. They have a tables match where Piper Niven defeats Zoe Stark in a good match. A charity prom by Johnny Gagan gathers 3,000 fans. Blair Davenport, the women's tag team champion, loses to Zelina Vega in an OK match. Tag team championship call out. The champions call out the challenger Johnny Gagano and Drew Gulak. Uh, in the mid card, the boss of the women's division, Scarlett, loses to Charlotte Flair in another good match. Giovanni Vinci cuts another charity promo gathering 2,200 fans. And in the main event, it's main event Jimmy Uso vs. Triton. And Jimmy wins in a great match. Following that is NXT with the match between Andrea Cannons and Tamina. Tamina wins it in a good match. A self promo by Humberto gathers to popularity. In the mid card, we have Sassy Mulassi vs. Indy Hartwell. Indy wins again. Next we have a call out from, from Damon Kemp to R-Truth and in the second mid card match Cameron Grimes and Jer Jerry Sweat lose to Jokoff and Ludwig Kaiser in a mediocre match. Braun Strowman cuts a charity promo and in the main event EU Sky goes up against Jesse Jane, no that's Gigi Dolin I'm sorry and EU Sky wins, it's time for Smackdown. In our first match, Captain Grog loses again to Adrian Buck in a great match. LA Knight cuts on an excellent promo, gathering 6,500 fans. That's more than Raw did in two charity promos, so great job, LA Knight. Next, Mr. Higgins B loses to Damien Priest because, of course, he does in an okay match. Well done, Damien. Wow, didn't expect that. This rivalry goes to level 4, which is amazing. The Cotter will have a great return match next Fallon Henley wins who would have thought that the match between the two proper wrestlers would be a whole star worse than the one featuring Mr. Higgelsby wow Logan Paul calls out Rich Holland in starts a rivalry which is great and in the main event the Intercontinental Championship is on the line and Sheamus retains in a good match Nathan Frazier goes against Dijak and wins. Uh, Dijak wins in a three star match. Cindy Fluff calls out Zaya Lee. Uh, John the Fish Herman versus Eddie Pop is next. Eddie Pop wins in a disappointing match. Nikita Lyons cuts a self promo. 
in the mid card it's Tiffany Stratton versus Becky Lynch and Becky Lynch wins again in an okay match a charity promo is cut by Chelsea Green and she gets 2250 fans and in the main event Cedric and Apollo win again versus the Miz and Ivor in an amazing match but world champion Miz is injured oh this is not good for WCW all shows get an amazing booking a uh, good booking and uh, Raw gets 47,000 fans NXT get 43,000 we get 43,000 and WCW get 42,000 so we lower the gap to everyone apart from Raw which is not great but it's time for the biggest party of the summer summer slam and there is what we expected everyone's contract is ending so I'll start with Grayson Waller thanking me let's start from a positive standpoint I appreciate you carrying through with your promise I approved yourself to me earlier when you gave me that title shot. Great working with you, boss. Thank you, Grayson. I'm happy to satisfy you. Um, Carol, did I do something to make you upset? I'm just wondering why you'd intentionally help Grayson during our match, but not give me the heads up ahead of time. Not cool. Well, I'm sorry. I promised Grayson that I would help him, and so it just so happened that uh, you were there. The recent acquisition of Buck is doing better than expected. Maybe with a little push he could become a bona fide superstar for SmackDown. Here's to the here's a to the moon card. Might be a useful to help establish him as a rising star for the brand. Thank you, Triple H! Wow! This gives me 15 popularity for a superstar with 60 or less stamina. Uh, popularity. Thank you, Triple H. You're very kind. Ah. Ah. Okay. Let's uh, solidify our star people. Let's start with Adrian Buck. He wants 94k. Okay, Adrian. Let's talk figures. How about 65k? That would keep you for five weeks, and you'll be around until like uh, whatever the next pay per view is. How about that? I think we both know that I'm worth more than that. If you want me to stay on SmackDown, you need to meet my asking price. Okay, Adrian, you win this time. Captain, what do you want? You want 40, 64k. How about 44, Captain? Thank you, Captain. You're amazing. Only 44k. You're not very happy with me, but... Um, I hope I managed to uh, do well with you. I didn't... Oh! LA Knight only wants 58k. Let's talk figures. How, how about 40? I think we both know. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I'm happy with LA Knight to stay for 50, 60k, whatever he wanted. Yeah. And finally, Cora Jade. Bruh! Ah. Well, we're done with the money. I'm sorry, Cora, but um, LA Knight's promos are just more important at this time to gather some cash. And uh, <laughs> honestly, I'm sorry, Cora. I, I, I'm quite happy with you, but uh, I'm just too poor to have you on my show. Like, I'll have a terrible summer slime because I don't have any money. Okay, main event. Women's title match. Uh, Alba Fire versus Shayna Baszler in a tables match. I'll risk it and put Adrian and uh, Captain Grok in the opening match. Hopefully, let's use a power card on Captain Grok so that there's no chance of him getting injured because if he gets injured, he will lose the he will leave the show. On. Let's see who we can use to the moon too. I guess we should use it for. If we give that push to Mr. Higgins, he'll quickly reach like a higher ceiling. So I'll use it on Mr. Higgins. That way he'll have 50 popularity after like his next match, which is great. Why can't I use it on Mick Foley? Um, Eric, I'll use it on Eric Bischoff. 
Why am I looking at the power cards as if I have money for them? Okay, let's have a normal match for the world title here. Let's book it, book it in the middle of the mid card. Next, let's have a tag team match because we don't have any tag team matches. Uh, let's book our champions. Going against Carol and Sheamus for the tag team titles. Next, we have. Oh, I didn't book Ivy Nile versus the Copa in another tables match. And we'll swap these. I think this might be a better match, especially if we throw some tables in there. Uh -huh. So, it's a bit tough. I, I'm certain for a fact that uh, these two will have an amazing match. Like, they'll have a great match. I'm not so sure about my opening because Seamus and Damien's popularity is great. However, these guys have a match that will like blow off the rivalry. So do these girls, but they have lower popularity than them. So let's risk it and put uh, Captain and Adrian here. I don't want to risk it with Logan being in the next mid card match because that could ruin us again. So let's leave it like that. Actually, let's make it a normal tag team match. That way it should be even it should give us a hope that it won't be worse. Let's have an advertisement promo by LA Knight because we need some money. I'll take care of you LA, I promise you. <laughs> I promise that I'll take some care of you because uh, quite honestly we're not, we didn't start on the best uh, page. So you know what, I'll cut you, give you a self promo. A self promo will also be done by Fallon and JC. And we literally have only $400 left. So this is our SummerSlam card. Honestly, it's not the worst thing ever. We have Adrian Buck versus Captain Grok in a tables match going to blow off this rivalry. We have Sheamus and Carl Anderson going up against Damian Priest and Grayson Waller. We have Logan Paul defending the World Championship versus Rich Holland. We have Ivy Nile versus Dakota Kai. The returning Dakota Kai who's been off and out with an injury. And in the main event we have Alba Fire vs Shayna Baszler for the WWE Women's title. We have a few self promos and an advertisement promo from Cora Jade. We have Kurt do the advertisement because she is leaving the show after this and uh, she'll be gone and we didn't have the money to resign her. For NXT we have a tag team match for the women's titles. Bailey and Io Sky damage control win the tag team titles. A bad, pro a weak promo from Andrea Cannons, but it's enough to increase the rivalry. Another match between Sassy Mulas and Indy Hartwell. Another win for Indy Hartwell. Oh no, not this match again. It's gonna be five stars again for no reason. How is this match always getting like four stars and above? They've been in a rivalry for ages. How is it not on like cooldown or something? Anyway. Our truth and you cut some loose the titles to um, Eric and Ludwig Kaiser in a classic match. And now it's our turn. It's time for the match that worries me the most. Adrian Buck wins yet again in a great match. Only three and a half stars, which is not great. Hopefully these guys get a three star match. That will balance things perfectly. Carol and Sheamus win in another great match. Okay, everything is good then. A good promo by LA Knight increasing his popularity by three. Logan Paul then loses to Rich Holland. Ha! Huh. In another great match with the specialists in three and a half star matches. Good job, JC. Zero popularity. The Kota Kai wins in a good match. Only a good match for a four star rivalry. Wow. Uh, unfortunately, all this, the injury hurt her popularity quite bad. Fallon Henry lost popularity of a self promo. Wonderful. And in the main event, Shayna Baszler regains the women's title in another classic match. And the Baszler fire rivalry is complete. For WCW, we have Gunther beating Apollo Crews in a good match. A self promo by Cedric. Nikita Lion go Lions going up against Carmelo in a normal match, which is mediocre. Not something you want at a pay per view, especially if someone slams caliber. Cindy Fluff loses to Zaya Lee again in a 
Good match to be fair. I will is complete. Call out from Ivor to Zy uh, Axion. Uh, John the Fish Herman loses again to Eddie Pop and to Moss. Uh, Daija cuts a promo and in the main event Becky Lynch vs Stephanie Stratton and Tiffany wins thanks to an interference from Chelsea Green in a good match for stars. Triton goes up against Jimmy Uso now for Raw in a great match. Natalia cuts a self promo losing to popularity. Good job Natalia. Blair Davenport this time beats Zelina Vega in a good match. Giovanni Vinci wins the World Heavyweight title in an amazing match. Uh, Mainly funny fun cuts a call out promo on Natalia. Then Piper and even Zoe Stark and Charlotte Fair clash for the women's title and it's Piper who wins the title in an amazing match. And in the main event Johnny Gargano and Dexter Loomis beat Drew Gulak and uh, Brown Breaker in a classic match. We got a good booking. We booked our show well. Raw got a good booking. So did NXT and WCW. And while they didn't get the best show, uh, WCW still got a good booking. And now it's the time of truth. NXT, NXT get 120,000 fans. We get 112. But WCW get 102 and we all get 125,000. They go even further ahead of us. We're mm, so far behind, but we're only 10,000 fans behind WCW now and a whole 70,000 behind Raw. Wow, how are Raw so good? Oh, no, no. I'm not accepting Adrian Buck. No, no, no. You cannot, you cannot make me Tell him. You want Robert Wood? Wait, wait, I cannot see from the thing. Who do you offer me? No, damn camera. I cannot see you offering me Eric for Robert. Eric has 64 popularity and 35 stamina. And you're also willing to give me 15,000 in cash. What is Eric? Uh, he's a bruiser. He's a rule breaker. Like a bad guy. A bad guy bruiser will definitely be acceptable. I agree with you, Mick Foley. Oh, no, 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 my friend. You want me to give you money and Captain Grok for Zaya Lee, whose market value is freaking 7,000. And who is this Nikita Lyons? No, no way. You want me to give you all my money? That's not happening. Screw you. Not again. Um, no. Thank you. Thank you, Captain, for giving you, me one more chance. You're much more honorable than uh, Tyler Bate was. I'm not happy with losing my strap. As a former champion, I'm enacting my rematch clause. I want a championship rematch against Shane and nobody else better get a shot. God damn you Alba! Why does every champion lose their championship at the blow-off match and then wants a rematch immediately? Sure! What the hell is that? Start each week with 10 scout points instead of 5. All superstar less, lose less stamina. Fan favorites gain morale and rule breakers gain five popularity. Hmm, that's actually not that bad. I'll do this classic booking. So this is all the time I have for this episode. We did, in my opinion, a solid summer slam, but not in the mind of fans. We'll see what we'll do in the next episode with our newest superstar, Eric. Where is Eric? Here is, he is Eric, our newest superstar, who replaced Robert Root. Now see you in the next video. Bye!